Hello students how are you all I hope you all are doing good my name is Urmila and I am your functional and life skills trainer in this video I'm going to talk about the seven C's of communication before getting into the topic let me introduce to you what is communication communication is simply the act of transferring information from one person place or group to another every communication involves one sender a message and a recipient uh, that is the receiver so to make a communication effective there are few basic principles to be followed which are commonly called as seven c's of communication which is our topic today let's see the seven c's of communication here we can see all the seven c's the first one clear second correct third complete fourth concrete then concise consideration and courteous Now let's understand the first one clear the message should be clear and easily understandable to the recipient so whatever message you wanted to deliver or you wanted to convey that message should be very clear and easily understandable to the receiver always use precise words and always choose familiar and easy words now if you see this image you can see a mirror mirror is a symbol for clarity if you want to look yourself into the mirror you can see that you can see you and even what is there around you so that's how your message should be very clear the second c is correct the message should be accurate and without any grammatical errors so you always have to give a correct message or a correct information and not the wrong one for example if you want to if you know that raju raju is leaving to delhi tomorrow and if you say that raju went to delhi that means you have given a wrong message so you also have to look into your grammar see that your grammar is correct rather you can say raju will go to delhi tomorrow so make sure that you are giving the correct message but not the wrong one now third one is complete it must include all the relevant information you need to answer who what when where and why all the five w's so if you're talking about a particular thing you need to talk about who are doing it or what made the person to do it when it happened where it happened and why for example now i'm talking about the seven c's of communication i said that i'm going to teach you the seven c's but if i leave one and if i say only six that means the message is not complete so if you see this image beside you can understand you have to complete all the information required now let's see concrete all the facts and figures should be clearly mentioned in a message for example uh, he is very intelligent student of class and stood first in the class what can you understand this is very this is this is just a general statement but if you want to make your example a concrete one let's see this ravi's gpa in bsc electrical engineering 3f session was 3.95 for 4 he stood first in the class so this second example gives you a concrete message let me give you another example if i simply say i saw a monument in delhi it becomes a general statement but if i see i saw what i saw the taj mahal in agra that means you're leaving a concrete information to the audience the moment you say taj mahal the receivers or the listeners can immediately imagine taj mahal and that's how your message becomes a concrete communication next one is concise avoid the lengthy sentences and try to convey the subject matter in the least possible words that is focusing on the exact topic without flip, flipping or jumping to the other one so when you want to, when you want to convey something concentrate exactly on what you are saying rather skipping to some other topic so avoid unnecessary repetitions 
of the sentences and avoid lengthy sentences so that the this will make this communication will make very effective and very interesting to the audience now let's see the sixth one consideration the sender must take into consideration the receiver's opinions consideration implies stepping into the stones of others that is understanding the audience view points background mindset education level etc all this have to be kept in mind while speaking for example if you are talking to your kid you cannot use difficult words which makes the child unable to understand what you are saying so to make your communication effective you need to understand or consider the receiver's opinions now let's see the last one courteous the message should not be biased and must show respect for the recipient courtesy is the respect that we show to others while communication it involves being polite while communicating to the listeners and also if you make sure that your message is clear correct complete concrete concise and considering the receiver's opinions it also means that you are courteous so students these are the basic principles of communication that is the seven c's of communication which helps one to make an effective communication hope you all understood the topic and see you in the next video thank you